It really is quite a shame that instead of improving Blue Sky Studios, Disney made the decision of shutting it down. Their first computer animated film was Ice Age, which expanded to being a pentology, and Scrat became the company mascot. Love the series or hate it, my task is to rank the entries from worst to best, hoping that nobody, animal or not, goes nuts. Those that know me very well are aware I can't begin without giving a spoiler alert for those who haven't seen the stuff being discussed. Have your travel companions with you so nobody catches the cold and freezes to death. Is that everyone? Splendid! Hey, I'm Owen, the fiction fanboy, and here's my top 5 Ice Age movies. Ice Age Collision Course Scrat's antics go as far as into the stars, causing an asteroid to head towards Earth, so the herd has to work with Buck once again to prevent the prophecy from coming true. Along the way, the one-eyed weasel is secretly fighting dromosaurs who are angry with him. Peaches is trying to have a relationship with Julian. Manny and Ellie have an impact on that. Diego and Shira strive to be less frightening, and Sid needs a love life. If this proved anything, it's that having the most theatrically released installments isn't exactly a good thing. I guess the youngest of kids might chuckle even once, while everyone else is a tougher crowd. Not to mention, they bring up hashtags in a prehistoric setting. The story won't really entertain you either, because it's running away from Doom for the umpteenth time with very little added to the formula, whether the stuff is new, old, or a mix of both. Easily the least necessary film in the series. Ice Age Continental Drift The land and sea on Earth are changing due to Scrat's nutty mishaps thus forming the Seven Continents, and after an argument between Manny and Peaches, the herd gets separated, with one group having a pirate problem who don't want them to return home, no matter how badly they want to, and the other group must reach a bridge to be reunited before a supposed wall crushes them. Swashbuckling animals isn't the worst idea, since they're kind of charming, however, the main gripe is the use of ideas from far superior films, mashing up multiple tropes, disguising it as a whole different thing. Confessingly, I laughed at some of the Scrat segments and almost wished Finding the Nutland was the main plot. More pop artists than usual were used for the cast, and while I love music, that doesn't necessarily mean they're the key to success. It may actually be the opposite. Overall, not terrible, just morally forgettable, on account of the next three being the higher recommendations. Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs We start off with the usual acorn tale, yet there's a little competition who also makes his heart pump. Scrat Tet. Meanwhile, Ellie and Manny having a baby, followed by Diego losing his toughness, makes Sid feel lonely. And being with baby T-Rexes didn't work out very long, since the mother grabbed him and her children. Now, the rest of the herd put their faith in Buck for a rescue mission, with pregnancy in the process. I feel like this should have been the final chapter for our primordial pals. Out of all the creatures to be brought in the franchise, the dinosaur species were the most fitting. Buck has to be one of the best characters with his sense of humor spicing things up, and the love-hate feud between the two squirrels is the most enjoyable, making it my favorite side quest. I'd even go as far as to say this is better than the good dinosaur. Still, not quite as good as what's coming up next. Ice Age The Meltdown you're probably going to have a difficult time believing what I'm about to say, but the end of the world is near, and this is only the first of many follow-ups. Regardless, we know who's responsible for the incidents. 
Our protagonists have to reach a boat within three days in order to survive. Manny is worried about whether he's the last mammoth on the planet or not. The crew does run into evidence proving this false, though. Despite Ellie's belief, she's a possum, like her adoptive possum brothers, Crash and Eddie. In addition, Diego believes as a fear brainer, he can't be scared of anything. And some colorful mini sloths drag Sid away temporarily, and expressing gratitude for being introduced to the food, glorious food song is a must. Plus, I'm not the only one who thinks it's catchy. Whatever you do, try not to envision yourself in a heaven where you're surrounded by the refreshment you crave the most, because someone will likely ruin it sooner or later. Chances of having sympathy for the characters are slightly above average, with my number one increasing the odds. Ice Age. At last, we have reached where it all began, Scrat's very first attempt at finding a place to have his acorn rest. The consequences for those actions are the conception of the Great Animal March to search for a new habitat. Manny saves Sid from danger and preaches him as a BFF, much to the mammoth's dismay. Diego is a member of Smildon's who want bloody revenge on the humans for what happened to half of his kind. Luckily, the mother escaped to drop off her baby to Manny in hopes he'll do the right thing. Following the mysterious occurrence, Diego tags along for the time being, and they all have to go on an adventure that will be pretty ancient. Unlike the sequels, this prevailed at emotion, comedy, excitement, and even a bit of suspense. It may not have been able to contend against the classics from larger animation corporations, yet it's still worthy of being a nice effort. Want my advice on which movies to view? I suggest watching the original, then the second, and you could go on with or without the third one. Won't and can't stop you from going further, Though Ice Age 1 absolutely is the most memorable. Want the fiction to spread? Then please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications. Don't forget to also comment below and follow me on Instagram for teasers and thumbnail previews of future YouTube videos. Thanks for watching, look forward to seeing you again, and have a good night-o!